Welcome to Nilachal Kitchen. This is Manjali. Today we are making four types of arbi recipes. First, we will make achari arbi. For that, take 250 grams of arbi, that is taro root, and pressure cook for one minute. Once it's cooked and pressure is released, then let it cool and remove the skin. Transfer in a bowl. Now take 2 to 3 tablespoons of mustard oil in medium flame. Add half teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 4 teaspoon mustard seeds, half teaspoon ajwain or carrot seeds, half teaspoon kalamji, and half teaspoon methi dana or fenugreek seeds. Now roast them well, add a pinch of asafoetida or hay, add half teaspoon turmeric powder, one chopped bell pepper, capsicum. Now stir fry this till it's cooked well, add half teaspoon green chilli. Half teaspoon finely chopped ginger and one tablespoon of curry leaf. So once the capsicum is cooked well, we'll add other spices: three four teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of fennel seeds powder. Now add the chopped boiled arbi and mix well. Add half teaspoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon amchur powder that is dry mango powder and mix well. teaspoon of garam masala and one tablespoon of finely chopped coriander leaves. Now switch off the flame. Achari arbi is ready to offer. Next we are going to make Red style Arbi Rasida. For that, take one fourth cup of oil. Heat oil in medium flame. Add half teaspoon of ajwain or garam seeds. One pinch of hing or asafoetida. One teaspoon finely chopped ginger. Two finely chopped green chilies, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon coriander powder or dhania powder. Now mix well. Add 250 grams of boiled and chopped arbi. Mix well. Three four teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder. Mix well. Now we will add one and one fourth cup of water. 
which the came to medium high. Now wait for a boil. You can see it starts boiling. Also it starts thickening. We will adjust the water if needed if it thickens too much. Add half cup of yogurt or dahi and stir continuously do not stop till a boil comes. Keep mixing, wait for a boil. Once it starts boiling, you can add 3 4 teaspoon of salt or as per taste, optional half teaspoon garam masala. Add finely chopped curry leaves and 1 tablespoon finely chopped cilantro or coriander leaves. Cook for 1 to 2 minutes and switch off the flame. Braj style Arvi Rasidar is ready to offer. Next, we are going to make Sindhi Arbi 2. So, chop 250 grams of boiled Arbi into long pieces. Now, deep fry them in medium low flame. Once it turns crispy and lightly brown color, you can take them out. Now flatten each arbi using your hand or a spatula. So once we have flattened all the arbi pieces, we will deep fry them again. Deep fry them in high flame. So once it turns golden brown color, take them out. Transfer immediately, otherwise it might get burned. Now take half tablespoon of oil in medium flame. In a pan, add half teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds. 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder. Half teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder. 1 teaspoon coriander powder. Half teaspoon cumin powder. Now add the arbi into this, mix well. Add half teaspoon salt. Now switch off the flame and add half teaspoon amchur or dry mango powder. Mix well. Transfer in a bowl. So, Sindhi Aloo Toke is ready to offer. Now, we will make Thaba style Dam Arbi.
For that, take 250 grams of ardi, peel them and chop into long pieces. These are not boiled. Deep fry them in medium high flame till they turn golden brown and are cooked well. Turn to other side so that it cooks evenly. So they are done. We will transfer them. And one medium sized tomato. Blender jar, half teaspoon ginger, one cup yogurt or dahi, four elaichi or cardamom pods, one four teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder, one teaspoon dhania powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon fennel seeds, half teaspoon dry mint leaves. Mint powder can also be used instead. One star anise, one teaspoon kasuri methi, three four teaspoon garam masala. Now grind this, and the paste is ready. Heat the pan in medium flame. Add one fourth cup oil, half teaspoon jeera or cumin seed. Half teaspoon ajwain carom seeds. Now ajwain is very important while cooking the arbi or taro root. And one teaspoon asafoetida or hing and two to three bay leaves. Now roast this nicely. Add half finely chopped medium sized tomatoes. Cook this well. Half teaspoon green chili, one teaspoon finely chopped curry leaves. Now oil starts separating. Add half teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder. Oil starts separating. Now add the. The hay or yogurt paste that we made. Mix well. Now wait for a boil. You can see it starts boiling and the oil starts to separate. We will add half seedless tomato in big chunks. And one and half cups of water. One teaspoon salt or as per taste. Now add the fried arbi. Cook this for 15 to 20 minutes. Close with the lid for faster cooking. You can see how the oil starts to separate and the desired consistency is reached. At this point, switch off the flame. Add two tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro or coriander leaves. You can transfer in a bowl and garnish with cilantro or coriander leaves. Our dum 
Aldi is ready to offer. You can serve this with roti or puri. Serve with the prayer and gratitude. If you like this recipe please like share and subscribe thank you for watching our video